Hello, I'm Tom West, and uh, this is my YouTube channel, Life in the God Lane. Hope you'll subscribe to it and send it to someone else who can subscribe to it too. You know, I was trying to do one message a week and put it up on Monday, and I ended up starting to put it up on Sunday. What keeps happening to me is I run into all these great things in the Bible that need to be taught. And so as I do that, I'm going to try to put together shorter messages maybe whoever, whenever I run into it, and then put those out there for you, because there's some great teaching that can really be life-changing and make people better, and I want to make people better, so I'm going to put some of that stuff out there for you, and I call this little message here, check with the Lord, check with the Lord, let's pray together, Father, teach us from this passage of scripture to check with you before we make decisions, I pray it in Jesus' name, amen, do you check with God, when you're making decisions. It's a good idea. Check with God when you're making decisions. When Israel was taking the promised land under Joshua's leadership, they were at war with the folks I call the ites. The Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Perizzites, Hivites, Jebusites, the ites. There's all kinds of ites. And God told them to go into the promised land and kill all those people, eliminate them, get rid of them so that they wouldn't be polluted by them. God commanded that they destroy all those people while they were taking control of the promised land. The Gibeonites lived close, close by, and they heard about God leading Israel to win all these wars with all the people of the land, and they thought, you know what? We don't want that to be us. So they sent a delegation to Israel to make a peace treaty, and they were being sly about it. They dressed in worn-out, patched-up clothes, had dry, moldy bread, and wore worn-out sandals. They had wineskins that were cracked and old. What they were doing is they tried to make it look like they came from a far-off land and they, that they weren't close by neighbors. And then they asked Joshua for terms of peace. And we get the passage in, jo in Joshua 9, verses 14 and 15. The men of Israel sampled their provisions listen to this, but did not inquire of the Lord. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace with them and let them live. And the leaders of the assembly ratified it by oath. Joshua and the leaders made a formal peace treaty, treaty with these folks, so they weren't supposed to do that. They were deceived and they made peace with people they were supposed to destroy. How did that happen? Pretty simple. They did not inquire of the Lord. They made a bad decision because they did not check with God. We need to check with God and avoid bad decisions. Bad decisions just hurt us. All God's trying to do is help us, you know. So how do we check with God? I think it's pretty simple. Ask him for direction in prayer. Ask him for direction in prayer. And then look for his answer in two, pla two places in two ways. First, his word in the Bible. Does the Bible have anything to say about your decision? If the Bible teaches against what you are considering, the answer is no, don't do it. If the Bible doesn't say anything about it, you have freedom to choose. Did you know that? If the Bible doesn't talk about it, you have freedom to think and choose and make your own decision. If the Bible says it's a good thing, you have a yes. So check with the Bible. You don't ever want to do things outside of the will of God in the Bible. Secondly, does God provide a way for what you're seeking to happen? Is there an open door, is how I like to put it. If so, it could be a yes, and it should probably is. But be careful, be careful, because if it's yes, it, it, and maybe it's not obviously yes, you could have a no. So you got to be careful. You got to think. You got to take your time. Don't rush, I would say. Recently, I refinanced my house. Uh, there was nothing in the Bible against it, and it saved me some money, you know? So... And then I applied for the loan. I found a good loan, someone to work with me, applied for the loan, and was easily approved. I signed the documents yesterday. So I checked with God, and his answer was yes. That's how you do things, okay? Check with God and see what his answer is. And only do things that God wants you to do. You'll be a lot better for it. Let's pray. Father, teach us to check with you. Help us to do it, to do it effectively patiently and wait for your answer. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you'll subscribe to this Life in the God Lane 
and send it to someone else who can subscribe to it. Life in the God lane, and I'll see you soon.